All across YouTube, you'll find dozens of videos claiming that a housing crash is already here. Yes, you heard that correctly. These are channels that are not predicting a housing crash, but rather claim that it's already underway, and the evidence they're using can be seen as reliable from certain angles. The main argument for many experts is that new homes are experiencing a mini recession, at least in terms of pricing. According to federal data, new home prices reached their peak in October of 2022 at 497,000. Over the past 19 months, prices have steadily decreased to 431,000, marking a 13% drop. While a 13% decline might not seem severe, the rate of decline is actually sharper than what occurred in 2008. Examining the last major recession reveals that it took over 40 months for housing prices to bottom out with a decline of just over 21%. Currently, we are more than halfway to reaching that bottom. The rapid pace of this decline has led many to believe that the situation could be much worse than in 2008. We know that new home builders actually drive prices across the board in many parts of the nation, and this is because new home builders are very adept to changing situations. They aren't as reluctant to offer incentives or price drops on their inventory because at the end of the day, they answer to Wall Street who wants steady revenues and maximum sales. And simple economics tells us that when a new home builder drops prices, it makes it very hard to sell an existing home. Just imagine a simple scenario. Let's say you have a new home builder that is selling a 2,000 square foot home for $400,000. New homes sell for a premium when compared to existing inventory for obvious reasons. They are newer and usually nicer than what's already out there. So when the builder drops prices by let's say 20%, it makes that existing home, which was selling for 320,000, extremely hard to sell because a buyer would rather just go for the new one at that point. This ultimately means that when new home builders drop prices or offer incentives, it rapidly puts downward pressure on existing homes, which make up a larger piece of the overall pie. Essentially, what I'm trying to get at here is that new homes drive the price of everything in residential real estate. So when we see new median home prices go down, a lot of people interpret that as a housing crash and in a lot of ways, rightfully so. When you break it down even further, what you see is that yes, new home prices are down around 14%, but the real number is actually much worse than that. What new builders are not telling you or the Fed is that they're artificially pushing the so-called real price down even further. New builders offer loan incentives, which allow them to give new buyers a rate far better than what is out there for existing buyers. For example, DR Horton offers a 6% fixed rate for a lot of people in various communities across the US. The market rate is 7.5%. So if you buy with DR Horton, not only are you getting the reduced sale price as a result of this market fluctuation, but you're also getting a reduced mortgage rate, which in turn is kind of like an artificial price reduction as well. Ultimately, you're paying a smaller rate because the builder is taking on some sort of financial loss. Someone out there is subsidizing the rate, and of course, it's the company. So essentially, yes, prices have declined by around 14%, but the real number is actually worse when you take into account incentives like this. At the end of the day, it's pretty clear that yes, new homes are in a sustained price decline, something that has never happened outside of 2007. And of course, on the surface, this may seem like a big deal, especially when you consider what I said earlier about the new home market being the ultimate driver when it comes to prices. Reventure Consulting touched on exactly this in his latest upload. What he speaks about is true. New prices are falling, and the reason why can be explained by him in this quick clip. I've linked his entire video in the description below, but here is the main point as it relates to my stance. Folks, we have some brand new data from home builders showing that this housing crash in 2024 is even worse than the one that occurred in 2008. With Reuters reporting that US new home sales fall as the median price hits the lowest amount in more than two and a half years. This median price is down 7.6% from a year ago and is now down to 400,000, the lowest since June, 2021. And what's amazing about about these collapsing sale prices for home builders is how fast this downturn is occurring. Because it was only 16 months ago that home prices peaked and yet 
percent they are now down already by 20 percent and you can see that this 20 percent decline in builder prices is unprecedented because in the last downturn from 08 to 2010 at this stage in the downturn the prices were only down 10 percent so the prices have gone down more than 2x in the same period from where they were in the last downturn and you can see in the 2008 crash it wasn't until 43 months after the peak that builder prices settled at a 22 percent crash we're already at 19 percent only 16 months in but there is another side to this story you see while new home prices are in the decline the stock price of these builders is actually doing really well and you have to look and wonder if maybe these experts are overreacting if it was true that we're headed into a housing recession because of this and the data is already showing price declines, why would the builders be up stock wise? Analysts and investors are not that dumb. They have millions, sometimes billions of dollars riding on these decisions. Well, the reason is pretty simple. Builders are just adjusting now following one of the wildest moments in financial history. Not only did we have a pandemic induced buying frenzy, it also came at a time where interest rates were near all time lows. This means builders flourished for years, but once the rate came all the way up to 7.5% and the post-2020 demand push deflated and normalized, what we had is basically a normalization of the market. Builders had to adjust, and what they came up with was simple. A slight price discount and some incentives to start moving the inventory. It's pretty clear that there still is a large demand for homes, whether it's new or existing. You can tell that by staring at the inventory data. The new price move is simply the new builders trying to find that perfect point where they maximize profits and move inventory at a pace that satisfies the investors of the company. For example, if you read DR Horton's latest earnings report transcript, you will find this section where they talk about exactly this, saying, quote, to address affordability for home buyers we are still using incentives such as mortgage rate buy downs and we have reduced the prices and sizes of our homes where necessary based on current market conditions and mortgage rates we expect our incentives to remain at these elevated levels in the near term so builders are recognizing that americans are challenged affordability wise and they are adjusting size incentives and prices but there is no indication that this will remain a sustained dip. If we were truly headed towards a crash, you can bet that builder stocks will be showing us a warning and on top of that, inventory will begin to rapidly build. Right now, that's just not the case. And while it is true that there has been a slight dip in price, what's clear is that the investors are not panicking for good reason. They believe that the market will remain strong and a slight price adjustment is all that was needed to keep the sales flowing. So far, they have been right. Thank you guys for watching. As always, please make sure you hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed it. And let me know in the comments below what you think about this new home data. Are we really headed towards a crash based on this? Or is this yet another normalization that is happening as a result of the bizarre events that unfolded in 2020?